Hey guys, Shalom Aleichem. How hard and complex it is for a person to find his own path in this lifetime. How many times we apply to different jobs, to try different opportunities, just to find that one that will shine in bright light, that will satisfy us and, and feed us. There is a great story that Rabbi Nachman of Breslev told about a person that was looking for his way back home and fell to great poverty, found himself all alone in the middle of the forest and Long story short, found himself down to the ground, crawling, looking for his way back to, to sanity, to reality. And because he did not have no power in his legs anymore to take himself, he dragged himself with his hands, crawling on the ground, feeding himself from growing simple grass from the ground. And for a period of time, long days, he was surviving in that way, that he was feeding himself from those empty weeds until one day he found a leaf, a grass that seemed interesting to him and he came closer to it, dragged himself to that one and he found that that one had a root and he started digging, digging around that root till he took it out, uprooted that one and ate it and found it very satisfying gave him way more strength and power than the rest of the wheat that he was eating until now the weeds and the fact that he found that one gave him strength and he decided to look back into that place where he uprooted that root from and then he saw that there was a precious stone a great diamond buried underneath it. He took it out and it was the key for his future happiness. In that amazing tale, Rabbi Nachman of Breslev is revealing to all of us that until that time will come, that we'll find our gate for success, we need to survive. We need to keep on searching for pieces, sparks that will feed us, that will nurture our bodies and our spirits and our soul as well, until we'll find the inner connection to some point that will boost us with great energy and will fill our lives with inspiration. For me that task, even though that is long, is very interesting and very satisfying and rewarding. Because along the way, it's not only that you find yourself in that place of finding satisfaction for yourself or achieving some goals or you can see some success along the way. It's also that along the way you find yourself helping other people to get to that place as well and to rise and to grow and to succeed and achieve their own achievements. And when a person sees great success around him with other people, people he wants to see them grow and he loves them and care for them, that is a real source of energy, a real booster for our life happiness and for the purpose to keep on flaming in front of our eyes, to have a purpose for our lives. There is a story on a person that had a great debt, of course, this story is as well, Rabbi Nachman of Breslev's, that, that there was a person that was very wealthy, was rich, and he was also generous. And he was giving money, lending money to many people. Everyone in his village that needed some support or help knew that he's the right address for that. And many people came and everyone took as much as they needed. One took 5,000, one took 10,000. Everyone took exactly how much they needed and a bit more. And he was writing people's debts in his book, in his notebook. After a few years, he saw that he gave out hundreds of thousands of, of coins and no one paid him back. He was bitter, he was upset, he was 
not happy about it, but he was a generous person. He didn't felt like he has anything to do, had anything to do about it. Was just waiting for his salvation day, like the rest of us. One of the people in one of the days, people that took money from him, felt bad with himself. He took 5,000 coins. He also didn't have any way to pay back his debt. But at least he felt bad about the fact he, lent, he took that money. He asked for that money and was not paying back. So he asked himself, what can I do? How will I pay back? And he could not find a way. So he decided to go at least to apologize to the person that lent him the money. He went to his house, knocked on his door. The guy opened the door. Shalom Aleichem, Shalom Aleichem. I don't know if you remember me, a few years ago I came, you gave me 5,000 coins and now I, uh, I'm standing in a place that I'm not able to pay you back, but I don't know what to do and I'm, I'm not sleeping well at nights with that thought that I owe you that money and you were so generous and kind to me and I have not paid a dime. So the rich person told him, come. Come please inside into my office. Brought him into his office. Please sit. Gave him to drink. And opened the notebook and gave it to him and told him, You see, those are my lists. There are hundreds of people here in that list that owes me. This guy owes me 5,000. This guy owes me 10,000, 20,000, 1,000. And on and on. It comes to a huge amount of hundreds of thousands of, of coins. He said, You think that I care for those five? thousand coins of yours they're not even one percent of what people owes me the guy felt very bad with himself embarrassed but then the wealthy person said do you want to help me and pay your debt so the guy said yes of course told him take this notebook and go and start collecting the coins the debts that people owes me from the guy that owes 20,000 bring five from the guy that owns that that owes 10,000 bring two and in that way you'll pay your debt the guy was very happy that at least he had some opportunity to do something good for that poor generous guy poor generous wealthy guy and he took the book and started walking from one person to the other from one business to the next and collected and gathered 1,000 here 1,000 there in the end of that road he came back with a few tens of thousands of coins we can see that in this tale rabbi nachman is bringing great wisdom very helpful for all of us let's say that you did something wrong let's say that you missed something let's say that you messed up in a certain way in a way that you cannot repair in a way that you cannot fix for an example you violated shabbat okay let's say that you violated shabbat and i'm taking it as an example, let's say that you messed up in no matter which topic you will choose. And in that aspect, you messed up and you lost the opportunity to fix it and you don't have no way to correct it because you cannot bring back that Shabbat. It's gone, it's dead, it's behind you, it passed already. What can you do now? If, for an example, you will go and talk to other people about Shabbat and explain to them and help them about the importance of Shabbat. And again, it's very important to me, Shabbat is an example. Any life situation that you feel that you lost, take that topic. You feel like you didn't give enough charity. You feel that you were not nice to your soulmate. You feel that you messed up with your kids. You feel that you did something evil, wrong. You hurt a person. You stabbed someone in his back. To fix it with him, to fix it with them is impossible for you. You cannot bring back the past. Even if you go and apologize and say, I'm sorry and try to be nice and, and, and put your heart to it, to assist and to help. Sometimes it won't be enough. You cannot pay for what you did. But if you will go and you distribute and you're going to share the wisdom that you purchased, your life experience, the conclusions you came up with, you're going to go and spread the light of your deep understandings and the importance of that thing, of not hurting others, of keeping Shabbat, of doing good things, no matter what it is. Not only that you're going to bring back the amount that you owe, that you lost, even more than that, you will bring 
thousands and thousands of sparks that other people lost on the way and you will bring actually much more than you lost for the person that gave it to you so to our maker to our root to the root of our souls to who that sent us down to earth we owe our lives because he gave them to us he gave it to us and we should bring back as much as we can and if we're gonna go to help his children and to shine the light of our life experience to the ones that are surrounding us to the ones that are willing to hear words of wisdom from us that are capable of receiving from people like us we not only going to fix and correct what that we lost we will also going to bring much much more to the home honor of this world may his kindness shine upon us to open the path for success to us all to us and to all our loved ones together united as one amen